Hey everyone, today we're taking a look at this roadway that has washed out twice in the past year, and here's why. The center of the road is supposed to be the highest point, directing it into these drainage ditches. But here, the center is actually lower than this lip before the drainage ditch, and definitely lower where the wheels go. So every time it rains, it washes down, collecting from this entire hill, comes down here, and dribbles off the edge until the edge erodes in further and further. One time, it was kind of scary going over this. It was so narrow because it washes out. And the logging company thinks putting these rocks here, building it up, is going to fix it. But these rocks aren't tightly put together. As it erodes down, it'll go between them and between them until the rocks start falling. Look at a riverbed down there. That's all the road from the past two times it washed out. This is supposed to be a nice rocky river, but look, it's all filled in flat. Take a look at the other side. See how nice and rocky it is with no fill before it comes down? And right here, there's some erosion here that they haven't fixed yet. Actually, you know what happened? There was a few big rocks here. They didn't pack it correctly at all. It, it just went down in a landslide. And look at all the debris here. There was definitely a recent blockage here. In the spring thaw, it probably went over the road. That culvert is definitely undersized. A whole nother problem. And now if you walk right here, even these little slots to get it out of the way before it gets down to the culvert, they're so small. Torrential downpour, it'll flow right over them and destroy them. They need bigger drainage ditches right here, and the top needs a very good angle to get it to the side. And I've seen guys with graders even put a few bumps in the center. They're not fun to drive over, but it'll protect the road. Also, it's way too much dirt. They need some more gravel mixed in. Let's go on their knees and take a look at this. Alrighty, down at the stream. Look how nice it is before all the fill is added on the other side. Take a look. Recent landslide here. A couple of rocks are probably missing. Storm surge probably took it away. See all the debris here? There's evidence this whole thing gets blocked occasionally and it probably flows over the surface of the road. Now this culvert is too small for this size riverbed. You can see there's even erosion behind it, which is going to cause problems. The culvert itself is in good condition. See how the bottom is all worn down, like being sandblasted from all the debris. It wears down the galvanization and looks like it had a rubber coating, exposing it to even more rusting. The other side's crushed from the giant boulders falling on it every time this happens. And I don't even like standing here underneath this. See the debris here. This water goes way, way up over this. Not too smart of a design. And right here, stepping off the road. Look at their poor excuse of a drainage ditch right here. This is the original drainage ditch. Still really big and strong. This is from back when it was active logging happening, and it's about to happen again. They're scheduled for three years. It's gonna be time to do it again. Back then, it was a two-lane dirt road for tractor trailers could pass each other. Two tractor trailers are not passing on what they have now. They're gonna to have to flatten this out double wide again. And that culvert they installed is not double wide. They might leave it and just have a bottleneck with a yield sign. But back in the day, there's evidence it was a double wide culvert. Let's look up here. This is all drainage right here. See how it's a little swampy and muddy? All drainage. And then this big embankment of dirt got pushed here over the years. Every time the grader goes by, it blocks the passage of water to the actual drainage ditch. And it's created so many problems. It washed out twice this year, and it's not very rainy in Maine. Hey everyone, today we're here at Pondicherry, where one of the entrances to the parking lot has been blocked by this tree from the tropical storm. We didn't get much rain in this area, but got a b little bit of wind damage that they didn't pick up yet. But anyways, I'm saying this because someone told me about this. Last week, literally less than a week ago, I reported this culvert to the DOT. Remember the sinkhole? You all remember that from last week? Less than one week. And 
they're gonna rip up the road. There's a sign down the street saying, be prepared for closures as they're gonna be replacing the culvert. Like, you know, they put a sign up so people who travel this road daily know it's gonna be closed for a day or two because of the culvert. Now, I made a video showing, I honestly didn't think it was bad at all, but New Hampshire has a ton of infrastructure money and they gotta find ways to use it up or they get less next year. You know how that works. See the culvert? It's kinked right there and causing a mini sinkhole. And you see they patched it at some point, but they came right on out. Here's footage from last week. Got a little sinkhole forming here. It might have been a frosty pushed up a rock and they removed it and just patched it. Let's hope that's the case. Because there's a diagonal culvert immediately right here. Maybe it leaked water that froze and expanded doing that. Maybe pushing up a rock. Might be a little bit of a blockage. Definitely some rocks from the embankment fell down here. Ah, uh, it is a little bit. Time to spread my legs and get to work. It's a little bit of debris in there, but this is New Hampshire. They have probably the best infrastructure I've ever seen. Looks like there's some blockage like way down inside it. I see something. Look at it, really thirsty roots stretching into there. Whatever that is inside, maybe we'll be able to see if we climb down over here. Yeah, New Hampshire has like the best infrastructure I've ever seen. Because you go into Massachusetts, they have guardrails that are literally, the, the bolts are rusted through and they're falling down with no money to fix it. But up here, they're replacing guardrails that appear to be perfect. Turns out, by code, they can't have wooden blocks anymore. They're replacing them because they need new ones that have plastic compression blocks. It's way safer in a crash. That's what I was saying. The entire end is like bent and broken because it enters here going pretty straight and it's like kinked. Then it comes down. That's why you can't see perfectly out. I believe there is some issue there, but it's not urgent. Today back at Pondicherry to see the work they did on the culvert. The new culvert's in, and look at this guy from New York thinking they can just park in the middle of the street because it's blocked by a tree. But what happens when the park service comes to remove this tree? Guy from New York is gonna be blocking the road and they're rightfully gonna be towed. Let's walk through this tree back over to the road. They didn't pave it yet, but there's a brand new culvert in. Honestly, I think they didn't pave it because the road is kind of messy. They might even repave the whole thing. There's grass seed, some fresh sod. Here's the new culvert. Nicely packed rocks so it doesn't erode around it. You can see they even raised the bed so it has a little area to slow down. They want the stream slowing down just for the time being. Spring thaw will erode this away, which is fine. This is just for the time being so grass and stuff can grow. The ground can settle. Because if you had this thing slamming in full speed from the stream, it would cause damage around the edge. But right here, it's perfect. Got a brand new pipe and they put it in in less than a week's time since being reported. That's awesome. Yeah, you see how they raised this up perfectly? I think they're gonna pave the whole road. That's why they maybe didn't patch it. Go to the other side, put a whole bunch of rock down here. Done so nicely. Look at that. All the this rock is put here so that speeding water doesn't cause damage. Remember how the other one was kinked in the center? Can we see all the way through? Yup, done perfectly. Love the work of the New Hampshire DOT. No messing around with them. It's done immediately instead of a bunch of months of trying to cover stuff up. Hope this video was interesting. Wow, look at this erosion. 
I want to know how this happened, honestly. Because there's no hill. If it was coming down a hill, it would make sense because it was going in here. But how'd that happen? I think there was just such a gigantic surge of water. Oh, yeah. Yep, that's what it is. Wow, they got lucky this whole road did not even get washed out. We're going to go down there in a moment. So let me explain. All the water that you're seeing trickling, it's not using the culvert. It's going next to it. They're lucky that this isn't falling apart. I just drove over that. This is hollow under this dirt. Completely hollow. Because you can see on this side, look how high up the culvert is. Most of the water is going under it. And as it went under it, it became unstable and started collapsing on this side. Let's find a way down there. That looks pretty cool. They'll fix it fast. Because this is a priority route. You can tell from this angle they've had problems in the past. Because you see they built this wall to stop it from washing over into the street. Look at the size of this riverbed. Huge. And in the spring it will even flood these banks. Look what it's coming down to. All right, we're inside the culvert. See how it's kind of shiny? That's from rocks going through it. See what I mean? A lot of it's going back behind this wall and under it. You see how it's up like this? I don't think they installed it like that. It's from rocks bashing into it over years and years. See this? On this end, there's no dirt underneath it and there's no dirt next to it either. The pipe itself is not in bad condition. It just, it's a tiny pipe for this size river. Yeah, that's definitely hollow what underneath me right here. This is so cool. When beavers don't have sticks, they start building with rocks. But every storm messes it up. You can see over there. They incorporated a few sticks into that end of the dam. But over here, it's all rocks. And you see, right here, it was holding water for a while until it recently broke. But they're no match for winter. Look how big this riverbed is. Take a look at that culvert pipe leading to the dringe ditch on the other side of the road. Looks like they reached down at one point with an excavator. And they crumpled the whole end of it, not being careful enough. When usually you can do those by hand. But doing it by hand is a lot more efficient. And take a look at this guardrail. The DOT is about to replace this. You can see there it's a little bent. It looks like someone may have hit it. But looking at it, otherwise it's in good condition. It's galvanized. It's not rusting at all. But they're actually replacing all of them in the state of New Hampshire over the next couple of years. And that's because... To meet up with safety requirements. You got some neighboring states. The bolts are rusting through. They're falling off. They just don't have the money to update them. But up here, they have an abundance of in infrastructure money. So the reason they're replacing them is because wood is not up to code if someone hits it. There need to be compression plastic blocks that crush easier. And it's less likely of getting hurt if you collide with it because it has a cushion. So they'll put metal poles up with a compression block instead of just the wood. Now I stopped here today because what I'm noticing here is they put a road in the valley. Now nothing up here tells me this is here, but by the shape of the land, I'm figuring there's got to be some kind of culvert cutting through this valley. Because look, you got the road here, got a deep cut down here, and look, up to hill. There's nothing here. I'm guessing there's a culvert down here that they installed beneath the road going through the valley. There's got to be a stream, I'm guessing. This is quite a beautiful valley. See what I mean? These guardrails, they look pretty new as they are, but they got to replace them with blocks apparently. No, this wasn't hit by a car. You can see that was done by a snowplow. You see how it's all crushed and pushed back? The ground mustn't have been completely frozen at the time. A little bit of erosion, but no big deal. That's why they put gravel here instead of just dirt. See, I'm holding on to the inside of this. It, 
keeping my balance. Yeah, this was all crushed by the snow plow. Nothing else. Looks like you got another culvert coming up, which is marked. Yep, there's the discharge right here. And this is just from the road. I know everyone's going to think those are leech bites on me. No, they're not. Haven't done that on my arm in 18 months. Something bit me twice there. I'm assuming it's a spider the way it's swelled up. Now I'm just going to cut down here. Maybe there's not a culvert pipe, but it looks like water has to get out of this valley somewhere. So I'm going to go down here. I actually start up here. That looks like an opening. There might be something there. Then I'm going to cut back through the woods. It's starting to rain. All right, now that's not so good. That's going to start hurting the road. Erosion's a little bit worse right here. And they even have a curb, but it's not working enough. Way out here, we find a vintage Shaw's grocery store basket. That's a chain that's almost out of business because of Walmart. All right, went down there. There's a bunch of swamp and marsh at the bottom of this gully, but no evidence that anything passes through here. There's gotta be so many alcoholics driving around drunk up here. Well, not drunk, because they don't go off the road. I guess just buzzed, which is still illegal, because you find so many alcoholic cans when you're up here, because it's so rural, there's no cops looking for that stuff, and the people doing it know it. You can see by that, that's what happens at just two years of sitting in the sun. A few months will make it fade because it's not UV protected to paint. Okay, let the DOT take that. Some of this grass is higher than it looks, probably over my waist. Now my pants are soaked because it's been raining out. Now at the bottom of the gully, definitely evidence that water flows here, at least in the spring. Probably not gonna happen this time of the year. But yes, there is a, looks like there's a culvert down here. Here come some logs. It's only the beginning of August, but yes, up here the leaves do start to change this early. Usually don't drop it until the end of September. Look what I'm seeing down here. Is this a culvert? That might be a culvert here. We gotta look in there. Or at least a cave. It's got to be a culvert because of the location of it. Right? Can we move this rock? Eh, that thing's not going to move. We get light. This might be the entrance of a culvert. It also might not be. Because maybe the ground is porous enough that um, it's able to pass through the rocks. Because this area, you can tell, it never fills up with water. Maybe it's just porous enough that it pools down here sometimes, but doesn't require a culvert. Because I don't see any evidence that there's a culvert anywhere. Oh yeah, and I did see the bones. What do you think those are from? A moose? Maybe a big dog, because that looks kind of short. You tell me, what do you think those bones are? See, I wasn't lying about how tall this grass is just doesn't look it when you're far away. This is an extremely steep hill. I'm actually having to use the grass to pull myself up. If I grab a whole bunch of these thickets at once and use it to pull myself up this hill. It's starting to rain out. Uh oh, slipping. This is not fun. It's good workout though. At least for one hand. It turned around to like try to attack it. We get a stick. Oh wow, it, it would have grabbed my finger. Look how it grabs this. Oh. 
cool. Look at this big beetle. Is that a beetle? I first touched it with my finger. It turned around so fast to grab. Oh, there it goes.